We're going to define the dot product between two vectors and vectors um, A and B. The dot product defined as being the modulus of A to the magnitude of A multiplied by mod B multiplied by plus D. D is the angle between them. And we're going to use this fact and give a the, uh, computation of the dot product to be able to find angles between two lines. So if A to vector A1, A2, A3, and we're working in three dimensional space here, and B some vector B1, B2, B3, then A dot B is computed by doing A1 B1 plus A2 B2 plus A3 B3. So we just multiply the two products by half of the and then add them together. Um, then this modulus component, well, it's the, that's, it represents the length of the line. So sometimes people use two lines, so we'll use one here. So the modulus of A, if you look at the square root, A1 squared plus a2 squared plus A3 squared. Okay, and B similarly, B1 squared plus B2 squared plus B3 squared. Okay, um, now we can just rearrange and we can find that the cross section is equal to A dot B over uh, mod A mod B. One question we could ask is how can we use this fact to find when vectors are perpendicular to each other? Well, cross um, sorry, perpendicular is when we have. 90 degrees or pi by 2. So cos pi by 2 is equal to 0. So we need this equal to 0, and that means the numerator is equal to 0. So therefore, a dot b equal to 0 divided by a and b are perpendicular. A very useful fact uh, for a lot of calculations to come later on. If you want to remember that, that should be the main equation in this video, uh, really. And if you can see where this comes from, that's great because it will help you to remember. For now, that's it. Um, hopefully, you found this video helpful. If you did, please be sure to leave a like, a comment below any questions, and subscribe to the channel for daily math tutorials. Thank you for watching.